it's Ashley here and today I am joined by Dexter, my 14 year old Shih Tzu, and today we're going to be answering some questions that I get on a regular basis about Maya and Mickey, so I'm going to jump right into it. So the first question is, why do you own a Siberian Husky and a Shetland Sheepdog or Sheltie? I got Maya as an 8 week old puppy from her breeder, and some of the reasons why I have Maya. She's goofy, she's playful, she's active, she can handle minus 30 degree weather and hot summer days. And actually, I'll just show you. I'll show you why I have Maya. I got Mickey as a five-year-old rescue dog. I knew him previous before owning him. So when he became available for adoption, I jumped on the opportunity. And some of the reasons why I have Mickey is he's goofy, he's playful, he's active, he's cuddly. And again, I'll show you. Go around. You're crazy. Another question I get pretty regularly is, what do you feed your dogs? I currently feed Nutrient Sub-Zero Canadian Pacific. It's an all-Canadian made food. And what I really like about the food is it keeps weight on my dogs because they are pretty active dogs. And there's freeze dried raw pieces in it. So with Maya being a picky eater sometimes, that just helps entice her to eat all of her dinner. And little Dexter here actually loves to steal and eat their food with them. Even though he's a 14 year old, he will still try and sneak a kibble or two. Hey Dexter? Another question I get quite often is, is Maya good with cats? Yes, Maya is good with cats, but she will never be trusted to be alone with a cat. Maya has a very high prey drive, which means she likes to chase small animals, which would be a cat, squirrels, chipmunks. So she will never be trusted alone with a cat. It did take quite a lot of training to get her to this point to be okay with cats. But she is good with cats, she will just never be trusted with a cat. Another question I get quite often is, if your dogs had a favorite trick, what would they be and why? If Maya had a favorite trick, it would either be walking with her feet on mine or limping, and Mickey's would either be a footstall, backstall, or pushing off of me. Maya likes the more kind of goofy, funny tricks, whereas Mickey likes the more intense tricks. And little Dexter's favorite tricks, I would either have to say sit pretty or beg or jumping on my back so he can lay down and sniff me. Hey Dexter. Another question that I get quite often is, do your dog shed? Yes, my dog shed quite a bit. I actually brush them just about every day to help reduce the shedding and with them being on a fish based diet I've found that it helps reduce the shedding quite a bit. Little Dexter here doesn't shed like at all. He's pretty good. But Maya and Mickey shed a lot. Maya has a thick coat so in the winter her coat gets really thick and in the summer it goes really thin and it's the same with Mickey. They shed probably about enough to make a whole nother Dexter with the amount of hair I can get out of them. So they do shed quite a bit. Another question that I've been receiving, for those of you who don't follow me on Facebook, 
Little Dexter here a couple weeks ago had some issues with his breathing and he was doing a lot of reverse sneezing and with him being 14 we just wanted to make sure he was going to be okay. But he is okay as you can see he is just chilling. He is very much puppy in all this winter weather we've been getting and he is happy and healthy. And he loves to sleep. So that's all the time I have today, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let's see how many likes we can get for little Dexter. And please don't forget to subscribe. It is free. And if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, there will be a link in the description below to our social media. You can also comment on this video. And we will see you again soon.